The most subversive aspect of AJ Plus's content is what we can call Muslim women breaking stereotypes. Values of haya and true hijab are stereotypical according to AJ Plus. So they want to present Muslim women who break the stereotypes by blatantly violating haya and blatantly violating. Haya means mm, it's like qayrat, isn't it? Hayat. Oh yeah, haya. Haya dashta bash khanum. Um, means like modesty. My modesty is that mod Hayat is modesty, right? Kowalski. So, uh, Haya is Haya modesty? Violating Haya and blatantly violating true hijab. How so basically what he's referring to is like something that we, um, people like Ali Rizmi complain about. Oh yeah, Deborah is saying, right, got it, I got it. Shame. Oh, it means shame, okay. Uh, so yeah, so he's basically encouraging shame. Oh yes, Soha is saying yes. Shame or modesty, okay. Um, so, or honor. Hmm, interesting. So basically, like people like Ali Rizvi and other people have brought this to my attention as well, um, uh, or even Yasin al Muhammad also, that, you know, in pop culture, when you want to show a Muslim woman, you show them in hijab. But there, there's a ton of, I don't know what the percentages are, but there are a ton of, like, a, a big number of Muslim women who do not wear the hijab, and they still identify as Muslim. Now you get be like, oh, how could they be Muslim and not wear the that, That's, okay? The fact is that there are, okay? Again, like I said, most Muslims are, do not follow Islam that closely, okay? And there are a lot of Muslim women, a lot, what's the percentage? Anybody knows the percentages? But a, a big portion of Muslim women do not even wear hijab. So, a lot of people, this is something, this is something good about the left, right? Sometimes the left notices stuff like this uh, and br brings it to the attention. When, when the left is not doing wokey stuff, they actually bring import, it's like some important issues um, to our attention. Wow, we got, a we got a super sticker. I can't see what the super sticker here is. It's a pair that is Thinking. Thank you so much, Secular Parton, for this for this super sticker. I appreciate that. All right. So what it bring? So what the left is bringing to attention is like you're not representing Muslim women well if a lot of Muslim women do not wear the hijab. Do not make it. Do not sell the idea that if you're a Muslim woman, you have to be wearing the hijab. Like you're basically kind of spreading modesty culture for Islam. If every time you're showing Muslim women you're showing them in a hijab. That doesn't reflect reality, okay? So I, I, in, on this thing, I'm inside of AJ+. Plus. AJ+, Plus is like, hey, look, there are Muslim women. Hold on, let's see actually what the tweet is. Oh, hijabi ballerina destroys stereotypes. So they're basically breaking stereotypes. That's good. AJ+, Plus's content. I mean, I'm anti-hijab, okay? But I'm also at, in favor of breaking stereotypes, right? I could be criticizing something and seeing its positive influence at the same time. So if I see Muslim. if I see a hijabi ballerina and it just you know makes people rethink things, makes people like things that are considered normal all of a sudden are challenged. I'm in favor of that. This is great breaking stereotypes. That's great, right? You, you're showing people that they don't have to just be in one way all the time, right? Muslim women breaking stereotypes, values of Look, rock out, uh, rock out with your hijab. So this lady, like, see, this is what Daniel Hayreju thinks is like anti modest yeah, the people women should be ashamed of it she a Daniel Jew is promoting shame you have a Muslim lady in hijab playing the guitar doing some rock music and see this she's having fun she's having fun Daniel Hayraju is anti fun okay she's enjoying her life but like she's like why is AJ plus promoting women having fun we here are against fun Islam is anti-fun, and women shouldn't have fun. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so she's like, why is, like, look at this. He's like showing this as like a, he, like he's, he's like exposing AJ+. This to his audience, it, they look at this like, oh my god, really? The AJ+, Plus is showing women in hijab playing the guitar? Like this is how his audience, this, they, his audience eat this up. Look at this. He has 64,000 views, 5,100 people like this. And this is like shocking to his audience. This is shocking. This is like, oh my God, you know, sister, where's your haya? 
Like, why are you doing this? This is not, this is not proper. You're playing the guitar. This is Western stuff. Like, okay, so this is, this is what he, this is his exposing of AJ plus, right? Yeah. And true hijab are stereotypical female Muslim hip hop dancers. Like, oh my God, like, oh, look, they're breaking stereotypes. Well, he's not even showing women with that hijab. I thought he's going to show women with that hijab that are Muslim, but that's what that's where I thought it was. This is going, but no, I was wrong. According to AJ Plus, so they want to present. Oh, he yeah, actually he wouldn't show anybody with that hijab. Muslim women who break the stereotypes by blatantly violating haya and blatantly violating true hijab. How many blatantly violating true hijab? So yeah, young Muslim. How disgusting! Female Muslim hip hop dancers. So this, these people are saying like, so this is why, this is why Muslim leftists in United States or United Kingdom can never win, right? As much as we have like, like, you know how we like, oh, ex-Muslims come and like, oh, poor us, ex-Muslims, nobody loves us. The left doesn't like us because we crap on Islam. And the right doesn't like us because we are like uh, foreigners. And Muslims don't like us because we left Islam. Oh, who, who, poor us. You know who has it a lot but worse than us? Muslim liberals, okay? They get it really, really bad, okay? So the Muslims in the United States, the, Muslim, liber, the liberal, moderate, lefty Muslims in the United States and Canada and the UK, I don't know about France and stuff like that, but at least in these places, they get viciously attacked okay not just from the big like far-right bigots that's not what their main concern is like their main concern is traditional muslims okay they get so they get you know so this is why organizations like care they are like really like it's really hard for them to maneuver in the political narrow political um you know window that they have been allowed to exist is that is just disappearing right now okay because they know that their allies are not republicans their allies are the democrats and what do the democrats stand for the democrats for, stand for trans rights gay rights women rights and all that stuff and if you want to be cozying up with the democrats you have to be on the side of those things as well, or else you're going to be dismissed as like bigots and stuff like that, right? So, but if you, as soon as you're on the side of that, then organizations like CARE that used to be a lot more conservative before now being attacked by the Muslim population because like, what are you guys doing? You guys are pushing LGBT stuff? Like, they're like, yeah, no, what, like they are right now being so much so heavily attacked by these more conservative muslims so heavily attacked and this is the exact area where aj plus wants to be as well and that's why aj plus is being used as an example that's why people like linda sarsour are also very much attacked by somebody like daniel Hagaju. because aj plus uh, linda sarsour type people elon omar people type people they're exactly in that area on liberal lefty Muslim area, that's exactly what AJ plus Linda Sarsour and Ilan Omar want to be, and that's that being over there gets as much as we uh, like people from United States and Canada notice the attacks from right wing people. What they don't, what a lot of people don't notice, is the more vicious attack that they're getting from the Muslim community, and they are vile, like. You know, when Ilan Omar comes and complains about death threats and stuff like that, they don't usually tell you where that the death threats is not coming from. Most of it is not coming from far right people. It's coming from the Islam side. But they just say like, yeah, OK.